Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And yes, it's another scape. It's a scape from before I did scapes, the way I do scapes now. And I want to play with it. And you can see that there was definitely silicone in that mix. But what I can see is that as nice and calm and serene as that sky is, I want to do something else with all of this. And I'm not sure how that's going to work, but this is going to be how I find out. I'm just adding some Anita's white metallic and some Bahama blue from, also from Anita's actually. And I don't mind if I don't go all the way down to that edge, because skies are like that. You can have clouds above the mountainside. And I want to put some pink in this sky too. I'm just going to try and leave a copious amount at the edge there so it can settle in. Now I'm going to do the same thing, I think. I opened that. I swear I opened that. Maybe I've got one over here that's more open. Yes, this is the one I opened. All right, so I wouldn't usually mix the white pearl with this, but I think it's, it's a good experiment. What else do I want in there? I want something else in there. That's green. Don't really want green. A little green never hurt anybody, right? Now I'm going to take my pink and my blue that I've got on my spatula before I finish adding the last of that sky. I'm going to have, have to have a look at that. See how I like it, sort of thing. Knock my spatula off across the top, look for any of those little pull marks that indicate a bug or a piece of grit. Move some of my colors out of the way. Maybe put the colors away I was going to use in my sky. I like that, but I want a little more, I think. So I'm going to go the wrong direction first. Still using up my leftovers. I'm just knocking my spatula off. See if I like that a little bit better. All right, so the whole plan for me is to create a sky I like and a picture that I'm going to add rocks to the foreground. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. I have no worries that that is going to run, so I'm going to grab my cup and there's a little container. It's got a little something something in it. Oh well. I'm going to take some black like I did yesterday. And I'm going to squeeze a bunch of white Anita's in there. Which is, I don't know if it's the actual thing to do or not. This is Prussian blue. This is a turquoise. I want some greens in there. Why do I want some greens in there? I don't really want some greens in there. I'm going to use a bunch of gold. Some copper. I may put some greens in in the end. You never know. And some purple. Here's a little bit of that 24 karat gold. Here's some dioxidine purple. I am not being careful. I want that copper. And do I have enough paint? That's the question. Now, hopefully, the black and white, or the black and and white metallic will create a catalytic reaction in there and I can get away with my plan. If I don't like it, I'll do something else. Let me grab an edge catcher that's handy. I'm just going to let that go as far as it wants. And I do have some great cells. And I will be putting more pieces in. So I'm going to let that go down as far as it wants. And then over. Maybe, since it's not even moving very well there. I want some more gold. I like how that gold looks in there. This might just be very surrealistic. I don't know. 
but as soon as I have a puddle that'll go over the edge catcher, then I can run it down the side and I can squeeze it back in and flow it over and down and wherever it wants to go, basically. I think a little more of that deep turquoise would make me happy if I could lay my hands on it. And same with some black. That turquoise is very turquoise and looks a lot like water right now. Why are my... I think next time I will layer my colors in a ring pour cup. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry. Brain cramp. Bring my edge catcher back over. Line it up with where the rest of that color might go. I might leave a beach down there. I think it will be strange. I could just probably finish filling in pretty happily. Since the canvas is painted, I could actually use a uh, small spatula and push the paint right up if I wanted to. But then I might also have to wipe it off, and I didn't give myself any damp studio rags today. But lately, I have been enjoying having a sponge around. So that's okay. I'm good with that for right now. But I'm always willing to take all the paint I can get that's spare right off. I am going to put some green in there. I can't help myself. So it's the, the two color shifting greens, minty green and green gold. And if it does nothing more than camouflage my mountain in the background a little bit, that would be okay with me. So if I flow that puddle across, then I can also flow it down again. And I might want to just let that continue across as far as I want to let it go. See if I can tilt so you can see. It's more interesting for me. I don't know about you. Just waggling back and forth, hoping for something interesting to come of that. Skewer. All right, it's time to move along. If I heard paint a little bit, I can adjust where the flow is going to go. Still like to have an edge catcher so I can, any paint that comes off, I can use. 
Do I want some of that up there? I kind of do, actually. I also kind of want to see what happens. If I move it around some. As soon as you add a new puddle of paint, then you've got a heavier mass and that mass will move faster than anything else that you've already moved. And I'm all good with moving that. I don't really want any drips. As soon as I get a curve, a warp in one of my skewers, it makes it very much easier to, to dip into the paint on the surface of the painting. So I'm not sure about this down here, except for that I could add some more of everything and start from the bottom and see what happens. you escaping yet. Oh, right in my sky. Darn. I'll have to fix that in a minute. I am kind of focused, so I'm sorry if I seem absent. I'll let all that run down again. Scrape it up. I think I'm going to be taking my residuals. Right off my edge catcher. Not that I have enough of them. I have some. And that's a little more interesting for me, except for the sky part, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do and hope that it's kind of wet. I just figure it's a heavier pink cloud. I haven't torched anything. I do have a little bit of paint left. Don't mind using it. This is just some kind of island over here, evidently. Trying to keep my fingers out of the sky this time. I didn't make the same deal for the mountain. Alright, I'm 
I'll get my stuff out of my way so I can swing that turntable and have a look. I think I need a rock over here where there's schmutz. Not running very well. I think we'll be taking whatever I can get out of my cup. That might have been a mistake. Probably be okay though. Any little dollops of anything that I find there are, are fair game for being covered up right now. I have no time to tell you guys if you share my videos, I appreciate it. If you give me a thumbs up, I appreciate it even more. And when you leave me comments to cheer me up, I really appreciate that too. Thank you guys very much for all the contributions through PayPal and Patreon that have kept me painting since 2018. If you're interested in continuing to help me keep painting, then look for PayPal or Patreon under the link tree. And look for the exhibition video on the end screens of any video. And it will show you what the monthly prizes are. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixes. And what that means is they don't, they don't crack when they dry. Whatever I've got left on this spatula is going to cover the edges where I need it. I'm pretty happy with my, uh, my new and improved result. Or at least new and funky. <laughs> and cooler for me. I like it more than I like what I had. It has more depth and more dimension and I'm not done using the colors and I'm trying my hardest to get done with what I can see so I can turn it back for you guys and torch it. I torch to release the bubbles in the paint. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. I have a crib sheet. There we go. I have a crib sheet that tells me, again, the link tree and the exhibition video Amazon. If you shop my Amazon link at no added cost you, it helps me out. I see that thing right there. The paint is heavy, but it will not crack because of the GAC 800 by Golden. If I didn't say it was by Golden, I'm telling you now. It's plenty heavy. I can steal some. <laughs> and um, there's Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter links, and underneath the link tree, there's also playlists of 1,360 videos on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery for Syllabat Cell Art. And, uh, you might want to visit Phoenix Rising for Silabat Cell Art before it's gone. There are no commercials over there. I have um, <laughs> a website, Google My Business. If you ever want to give me a kind review, I'd appreciate it. That'd be great. And uh, my email address in case you're interested in making a purchase or scheduling a class. i got to keep my fingers out of that sky. What is that? And it came off. Yay. And I see the other one. Probably flecks of paint coming right off, coming right off me. Well, we got white birds again. We'll just make it a dark bird. There, we got a bird in the sky. Excellent. I love you guys. There's over eighty-six thousand five hundred and sixty of you. Last time I looked, and I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Happy with my results. Happy you join me. Check the community board listed under the link tree for tomorrow's video and Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. And you should find tomorrow's videos if you're looking for them. Bye for now. Love you guys. Priscilla out. Oh, exhibition video. Did I mention that? Last 20 seconds of every video. You can see the prizes for next month's drawing. Bye. I love you. Anon.